Hello everyone. Yeah, did you like my April Fool's joke of not even streaming? It was really funny, I know, right? Take on Glitchless Spirit Hover. Very cool, but should definitely only be in unrestricted Glitchless and not in restricted. Okay, question. I was actually thinking of something for an April Fool's joke. Tell me if this would have been funny or not. I was still gonna not stream, but I was gonna tweet like, it's what you've all been waiting for, or something exciting like that, and then I would just not stream. Would that be funny? No? Okay, good. I didn't- that's why I didn't do it. I didn't think it would be funny. <laughs> Guess, no. Am I too dank percent for April Fool's? I would never do that. I would never- I would never stoop down to doing dank percent for April Fool's. Couldn't even joke about that. Could have said I was streaming in a Rando, sure. Ranker Zelda VTuber, uh, no. Wouldn't that require a ridiculous amount of work for something that would barely matter? Uh, Maximum Child is going to be split between SRM and no SRM, and I would do no SRM. I was planning on doing SRM too, but with the way SRM is going, it probably wouldn't be interesting. It depends on how SRM stuff works out. We have rules to discuss. Uh, su <laughs> sub 4, it's like borderline realistic. Like, if I plan to run this for a long period of time, I think I can get sub 4. I probably wouldn't run this for that long, but um, I think it's like borderline doable. Oh boy. Come on, dude. That looked really weird. I don't know if I can make it in time to uh, castle if I go to canyon first. Seriously? Okay. Well, I probably will have enough bombs if I skip canyon. I pretty much have to skip canyon now. I have to do it after Hyrule Castle. And that's if I can even make it to castle on time now. If it turns night, it runs over. Seriously. Frames late. Yeah, you can't actually enter at night in this. It just throws you out if you try to enter at night. But yeah, that's a reset. Why, oh, Master of Time is the ultimate Zelda game. Yeah, Master of Time is truly a masterpiece of an experience. A lot of my chat is in trouble right now. Why, what did my chat do? What did you do, guys? No, dude. Are you serious? This isn't even the first time this happened. This is probably gonna be another reset. Yeah, Child One's rough. Yeah, I'm not gonna make Castle of Fortnite again. Have I ever PV despite somebody? Yeah, man, I really just speedrun just just to spite someone. I just want to get a better time than someone just just out of spite. No, that is not something that I have done. That is not my motivation for speedrunning. Are you serious? What is this run? Oh my... I hate Zora's River. This part is so much harder than it should be. Oh my god. This is probably going to be another reset to Zora's River. Uh, no way I can get to Canyon. Might be able to make it to Hyrule Castle. Making it hard on myself. Okay, well, I can continue, and I'll have to skip several splits. Dude. Oh my god. What? 
Wait, what? Does this count as night? That's so weird. Okay, like, normally you can't even get into Hyrule Castle at night in this. Like, if you try to enter at night after the bridge is up, you just get thrown out. So, the fact that being really close to night still makes a night guard appear, that is super weird. Oh, you can get double cut. <laughs> cool. There's another reset. Another reset to Zora's River. How do you prevent that? Not getting there that late. I have to skip because of time of day. I wouldn't be able to make it to Castle before night if I went to the canyon. Castle be- seriously. Castle before night. No N in there. Well, besides night. Or no T in there. Yeah, also besides night. Vaccinated. Actually, the reason I didn't stream yesterday was actually because I was getting the vaccine. Got a needle stabbed yesterday. Well, first dose. Oh no, I'm gonna have to wait. Or no, no, no. Congrats on getting my 4G. My 5G reception, yeah, it's been amazing. Bill Gates is going to control me now. Nice. I wonder if Bill Gates is any good at speedrunning OOT. Yeah, my arm felt a little bit weird for a little bit yesterday, but other than that, I've been pretty fine. Uh, I need to do a one bomb super slide. Uh, is that run over? Seriously? No, I could have. No, I. I was gonna say I could have super slid on that bomb. Uh, really? No, I couldn't actually do a super slide on that bomb because I need the cutscene of that to let me do the skip. Dude, am I gonna have to reset again? Yeah, this is way too slow, and I'm still gonna have no bombs. Oh my god! What do I think the median age of my chat is? I mean, I'm sure you're looking for the meme answer being like 14 or something, but uh, I mean, for real, I I can't check age statistics on Twitch, but I can on YouTube. And on YouTube, it's like your pretty standard 18 to 35, like 60 or 70 percent of my viewers are like 18 to 35, so you know, probably like 22. But really, what's the difference between 22 and 14? This is the best ROM hack I've ever played, I guess, but I've also not played a whole lot. Well, I mean, I've played basically all the relevant OOT ones at least, but there's also just not a lot of, um, there's just not a lot to choose from with OOT. And then for, like, ROM hacks of other games, I haven't really played many. I've been meaning to play some, like, Pokemon or Super Metroid or Link to the Past hacks at some point, but never really got around to it. Dude, completely missed it. Are you serious? He's like a Squirtle guy. I am definitely a Charmander guy. Sorry. Squirtle is cool though. I still like Squirtle. Tepig better than Charmander? Take that back, dude. I hate Tepig. I don't hate him, but I really don't care about the Gen 5 starters. Gen 4 starter, um... What's his name? Infernips, Infernape's first guy. Why, why do I not remember his name? But I, I've pretty much always been uh, a fire starter guy. Kimchar. Why did I forget his name? But yeah, I usually like the fire starters. But then for uh, Gen, I think Gen Seven. I wait, no. I think Gen Seven. I still chose. No, what do they even do for Gen Seven? One of the gens, I was like, dude, screw this. Gen Six. That was it. I was like. I don't care for any of these guys, and I think I started with the grass one in Gen 6, and then I just put him in a box. Oh my god. Oh my god, please stop. Dude, Cyndaquil's amazing. What are you talking about? Oh my god. I love Cyndaquil. Uh, this is gonna be weird, because, like, I think I have time for Canyon, but I might just, like, barely have time. I might be cutting it super close. I think I should go for it. 
Yeah, if it's it's still it's not sunset yet. So I should go for it. The route as a whole honestly isn't that brutal. It's Zora's River specifically. It's like Zora's River is the one really hard thing in the beginning. And if it wasn't for that, then the beginning wouldn't be too bad. Oh man, this actually is gonna be kinda close. Oh no. Dude. Like Zora, Zora's River needs to go perfectly. He's stuck. He's trying to he's trying to go back to sleep because it's nighttime, but he can't get back to his home place. Nice. I don't know. Do I just continue this after waiting it out or what? Maybe. Oh my god, I can't. Dude. Reset. Okay, this might be last reset. I'm getting annoyed. No, Nintendo has never acknowledged me in any way. The closest thing is I talked with some people from Nintendo Treehouse at a GDQ once, and that's it. Acknowledged via DMCA, yeah. Nintendo does not care about me, or at least they probably don't like me. Oh no, that, that definitely doesn't make me feel sad or anything. Don't worry about that. But thank you. I just think it's funny. I mean, even if Nintendo would acknowledge me in some way, or like OT speedrunning in some way, what would it really be? Like, what would they do or even say, really? Like, oh, you really completely destroy our game we worked so hard on 20 years ago. Good job. At least 3D devs acknowledge glitches and kept them in. See? Another example of... That's not really true. Um, oh my god. Of like, Nintendo kind of acknowledging it, but not really. Like, people always seem to... Everyone remembers this one interview where they talk about keeping glitches in OT 3D and it's like so confusing because it doesn't make any sense the way they said it. For those who don't know, they tried to patch, attempted to patch, a lot of stuff in OT 3D. Like, all the basic stuff you would probably think of was either patched or attempted to be patched. And the stuff that's kept in is probably not the kind of stuff they would have referred to during that interview. Like, you would think if they're saying, oh, we're keeping glitches in, they'd keep in the classic glitches like ISG and maybe Skulltula duping. You know, the ones that a lot of people know about, maybe they mess around with as a kid or something, not even speedrunning related ones, but no, all those ones are patched. The ones that aren't patched are like mega flipping, hessing, but super sliding is patched, and then like stuff that didn't exist when, or wasn't known when OT3D came out, like long warping. RBA was attempted to be patched by fixing fishing, but then even that has a workaround. So like, that, that whole interview thing about them saying, oh, we kept in which is an OT 3D. That is a huge misconception that should not be taken as fact. And the way they said it is extremely confusing. Yeah, ground jump is patched, ground jump is not in. So yeah, um, please, if you were ever referring to that interview about Nintendo saying they kept OT 3D glitches in on purpose, do not cite that as like some kind of Nintendo acknowledging speedrunning or something, or even it being a true statement at all. I mean, it's not necessarily false, because there are plenty of glitches that are still in, but they attempted to patch a huge number. They did patch a huge number, and the ones that are in is likely not the ones they would have been referring to. So yeah, that whole interview was extremely weird, and doesn't make a lot of sense. Yeah, at least they gave us the 9 to 5 rock. Like, my theory is that by saying we kept in a lot of the glitches, that was their code word for we're totally remaking the game from the ground up and not just porting it over with doing some fixes, but we added in the glitches so that it makes it seem like it's like closer to the original. That's my... that's the feel I get from it. That's what I feel like they were 
trying to say is that they wanted people to think that, oh yeah, it's totally made from the ground up, but then to explain the glitches, they said, oh yeah, we added them in intentionally. That's my guess. No. Please, oh no, dude, no. Uh, I'm scared about the guards. I hope the guards. Hope it's not too late for the guards. Oh my god. Dude. Room's annoying. Oh my god. Okay, I guess I'm trapped. Ooh, just trying to slide hop, dude. Okay, the guard might be waiting here, I don't know. Okay. Yeah, dude, why is this guard even here? Like, you're supposed to not even be able to get here at night. So why is the, like, right before night guard even there? Because, like, even casually, if this happened, you'd have to go all the way out to Hyrule Field and wait until daytime. Come back. I'll show you a Nimpai's exclusive. Nimpai's exclusive glitch exhibition. So first I will do the classic. So in this hack, the, the place where the torches are and the door to Shadow Temple, that's removed, or supposedly removed, for just the entrance to the Hall of the Dead, which leads to Shadow Temple. But, uh, it still exists down there, so... I think I need a mega flip. I'm not sure if I need a mega flip or not. I'll just mega flip just in case. I'll go down here. And the load trigger for this still exists. And if I hit this load trigger, go through it from behind. Not working. I'm just gonna cheat and like fall in from cheats or something. Let's do it. What's supposed to happen is glitchy textures. There we go. There it is. So here you got some funky textures and also two Gibdos chasing me. Pretty normal. This looks nice. Why does this happen? I have no idea. I assume it's probably partially to do with like how the ROM hack changed this area. Like I, I think it probably is like, I don't know how to describe it. Just like one looks weird. Probably has something to do with like how it's changed in an unnatural way or like in a way it's kind of not supposed to. The game gets confused, of course. Yeah, Vertices getting screwed up probably. Okay, well anyway, I think I might stop here. Sorry if it was kind of short, but the beginning of this run is hard. If I can get past the beginning, it's not that hard, but yeah. Oh well. <laughs>